Hey guys, we're going to learn how to convert mixed fractions to improper fractions and then improper fractions into mixed fractions or mixed numbers. This is probably the easiest way and it's a cool, neat little trick that you can use to memorize the process. So, first off, converting mixed fractions to improper fractions. Say if you, for example, had 3 and 2 fifths. So this 3 is our whole number part, so we have 3 wholes and 2 fifths. So what we first do is, we multiply the whole number part, as I've said here, we multiply the whole number part by the denominator. So our whole number part is 3, and we're going to multiply it by the denominator 5. So, and then to that, we're going to add on the numerator, of the fraction part, which is this, the 2. So let's go in ahead and do that. So we're going to add on the, the numerator of the fraction part. So again, 3 times 5, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2, the numerator, which is step 2. And we're going to place the total over the denominator of the fraction part, which is 5. So we carry on our original denominator, 5, and we write it like that. Then 15 plus 2 is 17. And we keep our original denominator. That's as simple as it gets. Let's try another example. Just to clarify this a little bit more, say if we had 4 and 1 third, the 4 is our whole number part, and the 3 is the denominator of our fraction, and the 1 is the numerator of the fraction part. Okay, we have two parts. Remember that, the whole number part and the fraction part. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the 4 by the 3, which is 12. We're then going to add on the numerator to that, which is 1. 12 plus 1. And we're going to write it over our original denominator, 3. 12 plus 1 is 13. And we keep our original denominator, denominator 3. Therefore, our mixed, sorry, our improper fraction is 13 over 3. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions on this part, make sure to leave it in the comments. Now let's have a look at converting uh, improper fractions to mixed numbers or mixed fractions. So this is going the other way, backwards. In this case, we have two steps involved. We first have the part where we divide the numerator by the denominator to get the whole number part, because we we're going back, so we need to get that back. We need to get our whole number part back. And then we simply write the, the remainder over the denominator, and that's our original denominator again. Say for example if we had, say, 20 over 3, what we do is, following these steps here, we divide the numerator, 20, by the denominator, 3, and this will give us our whole number part. 20 divided by 3 is the same as how many times is 3 going to 20? So 3, 6 says 18. So 3 goes into 20 6 times. 6, 3 is 18. If we deduct 18 from 20, what we're left with is 2. This is our remainder. So we write the remainder over the fraction part, and then we keep our original denominator, 3. Therefore, 6 and 2 thirds is our improper fraction. This is going backwards. Let's give another example a go. Say if we had 23 over 5. We divide our numerator 23 by the 5. We see how many times does this 5 go into 23, or how many times can it? 4 fives are 20, so you can go 4 times, 4 fives are 20, so if we deduct 20 from 23, 
what we get is 3. And then we write the remainder over the denominator, the original denominator. 5 and 3. Therefore, we have 4 wholes and 3 fifths. Remember, follow these steps that I've listed here. Three steps for converting mixed fractions to improper fractions, and only two steps to go back the other way. If you have any other questions, make sure to leave it in the comments. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for future videos. Thank you for watching.